guys, this is the last question uh, video for question five. Uh, in this uh, video, we will be doing 5.5 and 5.6. So the first thing I want you to do is open up this um, QRY query, double click on it, and then I've opened it, and then I go to my design view. So the question wants me to insert the calculated field called month to determine the age of an athlete in months. So what I'm going to do is go to the next open column. Over here is where I'm going to build this um, expression um, that will calculate the months. Now I'm going to use the builder. And here we go, expression builder opens for me. I'm going to go to my built-in functions. And as I scroll down, you can see here where it says date. It returns a variant of type date containing the current system date. So it will pull the date that's saved on your system through there, which is what we want. So, date, and there we go. So we have date minus, now we need to subtract their date of birth. So that there is in this field, date of birth. You can see I'm using a field by the square brackets. And what I'm going to do is put this into brackets because I want the computer to first do this subtraction before it does anything else. Now, this is going to give me the number of days the individual has been born, or alive for, sorry. Divide by 365.25 will give me the years. The reason I say 0.25 is because of that leap year that we have every four years. That means there's an extra day every four years, and that extra day I'm just dividing by the four years, so it's all equal. Okay, and then that there now is going to give me the years the individual has been alive for. I know that one year is 12 months, so I'm going to multiply that by 12 to now give me what the um, individual is going to be in months. Now just make sure you use the correct decimal your computer all right so there we go and it says expression one so I'm going to click on the left of that colon delete expression one and I'm going to type in the name they want me to type in which is month month when I run it there we go you'll see the month the individual has been born and you'll see that there are some months 261 that shouldn't be on the list because they want individuals or athletes that are older than 480 months so in the design view now underneath in the criteria section of the column for months we are going to say greater than and then say 480 it doesn't include 480, so we don't say greater than or equal to, we just say greater than 480. Alright, when we run it, there we go, those are all individuals that are greater than 480. Alright, save and close that query. And now we're looking at the last question, 5.6, where we have to open up the RPC 5 underscore 6 report. So there we go, there's the report. There is something wrong. In this report they say insert function there's a edit box that has this writing in it and it's invalid so we're just going to click on ok and we'll fix that all right so here is the report this is what the report's going to look like first thing they want us to do is to change the grouping to gender so we're going to go into the design view over here, grouping and sorting. If you don't see the grouping and sorting, please activate that button. And then over here, they want us to change the grouping, not to delete this one and add a new one. They want to change this to the gender. So where it says events, I click on the little arrow and I click on gender. There we go. So you'll see now there's a gender header and there's a gender footer. Now it says ensure that the group header will always display the text gender. So if you look here, this box inside the gender header is an unbound box, which means that it's going to receive the details of a field or a formula or expression. 
So when I click on it, you'll see my property sheet is open already. If it isn't, remember to click on that little box there. And here you can see data says control source. Now click on the arrow and I'm going to pick gender. So whatever the gender is for that particular section, it will say F or M. Let me show you. So there we've got F, scroll down, and there we've got M. All right, so it's grouped it for us perfectly. Let's move on. Now it says add a calculation in the group footer to determine how many athletes have a net worth of less than 10 million. Now in Excel, this could be very easy to do because we would use a count if. And I know you guys have always been taught that we can carry what we know from one application to the other. The only problem is that we don't have a function called count if in Access. But we do have a count and we do have an if function. So we're going to combine these two in order to achieve the same thing we could achieve in Excel with the counting. All right, so let's go into our design view. In design view here in the gender footer, I'm going to delete this. This is what's causing the problem. All right, because now if we go to the view, you'll see that message doesn't come up anymore. So that's what was causing this problem. And now inside this box, I'm going to go here to the control source and open up my expression builder. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my built-in functions and I'm going to look for my function that says count. So here we go, count, double click, that gets put in for me. And inside here, I'm going to open up another um, function called if. we go and I put that in there all right now what we're going to do here the expression what we what are we looking for they say that we need to um, determine how many athletes have a net worth of less than 10 million so here we're going to go to net worth please make sure you don't say net worth label because that's just got the word net worth in it yeah net worth this is the field that actually holds the amount double click net worth is smaller than 10 million all right now i know my computer is going to give me an error with this so i need to put a bracket here and at the end of that expression there put a bracket now here where it says true part i'm going to put a number one that's going to count all those for me and the false i'm going to omit I'm going to leave it blank so okay and then the expression gets put in for me and when I go to my view you will notice everyone that has less than 10 million so for example this one that one that's two three and so forth it will count it and add the values there so it's as if it's doing a count if like Excel will do but unfortunately there is no function called count if in access so you have to use the count function with the if function uh, built into it all right guys so it wants us to save and close the report and there we're done with question five there was a total of 42 marks with all the question five videos save close and well done